haven't been to the Philippines, but I grew up with a lot of Filipinos. Kamusta mga kaproud? Today's video episode ay pag-uusapan natin ang ilan sa ating mga paboritong international celebrities at ang kanilang yummy encounter with Filipino food. It is. It is. Smells like a potato. Yeah, it smells like a potato. That is crazy. It's good. I like that. It's my favorite. Set up. Miss what up? Ma. Ma. Set up. Set up. Very strange fast food coming out of the Philippines. Apparently, they have Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants there. <laughs> you know this. Filipino food is the food that all chefs, all cooks, all foodie people, all journalists love. You told us so much about the culture and stuff, and it always seemed so different that I, I had this sort of magic image of the Philippines. Simulan natin sa Filipino snacks mukbang ni paring Jokoy sa Today ng NBC News. Mm, I'm going to be sweet. You guys are incredible. You are the best pair <laughs> ever. We Nakaka-proud na pinapakita at pinakikilala ng ating pinsan na si Jokoy ang mga pagkaing Pinoy sa mainstream media sa ibang bansa. Just yep. shrimp flavor, just so we're aware. Yeah, I love the fact that you guys are just digging in. And, uh, yes. No? It is shrimp. Like shrimp. Yeah. The first thing we tried was actually this thing called balut. Um, it's, it's kind of a weird thing. Basically what they do is they fertilize a duck egg. Pag-usapan din natin ang balut experience ni Zac Efron noong bumisita siya sa Pilipinas. Ibinida niya nga ito sa kanyang guesting noon. It really wasn't that bad. It doesn't look like you liked it at all. But you had to pretend or the people, they'll throw you off the side of that cliff, right? Yeah. Ikaw ka proud. Sinong sikat na international celebrity ang gusto mong mapanood sa Balut Challenge? Comment mo na. Baka parehas tayo. Chisay Babaw? OMG! Chisay Babaw? OMG! Chisay Babaw? OMG! OMG! KFC Streetwise Burger. Natatandaan mo pa ba ang cheese top burger ng KFC Philippines? Bumida lang naman yan sa isang talk show noon sa Estados Unidos. Tama ba si Tito Jimmy? Kalokohan nga lang ba talaga ang menu na ito? Ano masasabi mo, kaproud? He had says streetwise because this doesn't seem, nothing about this seems wise. Ikaw kaproud, meron ka bang kakaibang food menu idea? na may sasuggest. Comment mo nga at pag-usapan natin yan. The future ngayon ay KFC. Come now at tingnan ninyo. Order kayo ng dalawang Streetwise Burgers at isang Coca-Cola Drumstick ay libre. Busy basag ng drumstick ay mas maraming flavor. KFC OMG! Alam mo ba na may mga kaibigan palang Pilipina ang Hollywood actress na si Drew Barrymore? Kaya naman, pida din sa kanya ang mga pagkaing Pinoy. Narito ang clip sa kanyang interview, mga ka-proud. Mama? Yeah. Or lumpia. Lumpia is good too. Lumpia. Yeah. Shona? Or adobo. Oh, adobo. here we go. It's all food. I think it's good. Really? Yes. I like to assume that those two are your favorite food when you were here last time. I have many friends in America that are Filipino mm -hmm. and so they, were, they would make it for me. Our chef is living the ultimate chef dream in New York. Meet Pilar Valdez. She's the personal chef of award-winning American actress and talk show host Drew Barrymore. Pida din ang ating pinsan na si Pilar. Siya lang naman ang personal chef at friendship ni Tita Drew Barrymore. Ikaw, sinong international celebrity ang gusto mong maging personal chef ka at ipagluluto mo araw-araw ka proud? It's truly such an honor and I think, you know, for me it's like, you know, my deepest joy is really cooking for people, you know, and I think, thank God I enjoy what I do. And, you know, Drew always says, like, it was so grounding that we built our relationship. You know, at first it was a work relationship and it bloomed into a friendship, definitely. Idagdag mo pa ang fellow Charlie's Angel ni Tita Drew Barrymore na si Tita Cameron Diaz. Aba, marami din pala itong mga marites friendship na Pilipino. Pasok, interview. I haven't been to the Philippines, but I grew up with a lot of Filipinos. Really? Filipinos. Yes. My best friend that I grew up next door to, was her Her mother was from the Philippines. The Philippines? Yes. <laughs> and yeah. I, lumpia, adobo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I ate it every single day. And um, you kept your, your figure eating adobo and lumpia yeah. and, and rice? 
rice all the time. Her mom made the best rice. <laughs> Panoorin naman natin ang boodle fight mukbang ng NBA player na si Steve Adams. Basta Pinoy food, mapapakamay ka. Panalo yan, ka-proud. <laughs> Pass it up. Yeah. Wow. You like this one, huh? Yeah, this one. So now that we've had like the dinner part, <laughs> just especially for you. What was that word you said? Mmm. Pass it up. Mmm. Pass it up. Yeah. Narito naman ang ube experience ng celebrity chef na si Paul Hollywood. Uh, we're Filipino. Yeah. So growing up, everything we ate for dessert would have something purple in it, and it's called ube. Ube? Ube, it's a purple yam. Back home, we make a jam out of it, eat it with a spoon, but we live in America now, so we kind of have to Americanize the ube to make it. Tell, tell me what Americanizing is. Americanizing it makes it into a cupcake. Okay. And make so... it into a pound cake. <laughs> <laughs> Napaka-social naman pakinggan ng Americanized ube. Ikaw ka proud. Gusto mo bang matikman ang Americanized ube? Baka naman, Meron ding Indianized ube. Mala, mekos-mekos sa sarap yan. That's nice, huh? That's nice, right? Mm, it is. Yeah. Ew, this is a Kamayan Island feast, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. This is, Kamay is, means hand. So this is a feast that we usually have on a 40-foot table lined with banana leaves. And then we come out with this procession, all with rice and all these fun things we're about to put on. Okay. Nagpakitang gilas naman sa Daytime Chicago ang Boodle Fight set up ng Filipino food. Panoorin na halos hindi na makapagsalita si Latita Host sa sarap ng ating mga pagkaing Pinoy na nakahain sa kanila. The other side of the world to the 7,641 oh islands of the awesome. Philippines. This is and, so awesome. you know, so then you have this big colorful feast that you and get I to enjoy this. with all your friends and family. Narito naman ang ilan sa mga revelasyon ng Korean American chef host ng TV series na Broken Bread patungkol sa Filipino food. Tiyak na maaantig ka at magiging proud sa ating mga pagkaing Pinoy. It's the number one food amongst foodies. As far as why it hasn't broke out to, to mainstream yet, um, maybe because your food is too good. It's too authentic, it's too Aww. good that it just society, larger society, hasn't caught up to it yet. Pagpatuloy lang natin ang pagbabahagi ng ating mga napakasarap na pagkain sa buong mundo dahil totoo naman na numero uno sa sarap ang mga pagkain Pinoy. Salamin? Oh. Ay, no. Yeah? Yeah. Best pork. Pork. 